continue to show up and show out in these movies, the crowd and the audience has to see some sort of progression, some sort of growth, something that they did not know about this character. So I couldn't be happier about the growth and about the progress. And you continue to learn more things about him. A lot of people didn't even know he could whoop ass until uh, Furious 7. So, you know, I just I'm very happy with the way things are going with the character. And I hope that all the fans that love this particular character understand the same thing. What's going to separate Fast 9 from all the previous films? I feel like just when you thought we could not surprise you more, we're going to do it all over again. I continue myself to be amazed at how we find things that we didn't even know about these characters, about, about their families, about the plots and the twists and so many things that you thought were one way and they turn out to be completely opposite. So I think when people see Fast 9, they're just going to realize once again we have... 100 percent um reinvented ourselves and that's what we seem to do each and every time what surprised me most when i read the script of fast nine obviously the fact that dom had a brother that none of us knew about i mean it's crazy enough that we've been living vicariously through the strength power and confidence of dom toretto himself and now there's another toretto out here that we don't even know about besides mia of course and this particular Toretto has the same skill sets, power, strength, and confidence, if not more, than our beloved Dom. But he's using his powers for evil. The fact that off camera, we are a fast family, you know, not just on camera. And when we say family, all of our kids play together. We invite each other over you know, for, for birthdays and all these different events. So yes, we get to see each other as fathers off screen. So it makes it that much more special when we're on screen. And yes, I think that over the years, this is the perfect timing for us to play these roles when it's dealing with family and dealing with being a parent. And, you know, the, the, it couldn't be better not to, I mean, it couldn't be, it couldn't be a better time because it resonates on and off screen. Man, Tej is always going to push Roman's button just because he gets a kick out of it. I'm glad that the fans say that they love, you know, the chemistry between me and uh, Roman because we were kind of like the comedic, uh, comedic relief in the movie. And we always have a lot of jokes and we are able to kind of go off script every now and then and really give people, you know, an element of urban culture and just a, an element of laughs that we have completely off the top of our heads come up with at the last minute and a lot of those takes are the ones that are used in the movie and I think that's why people identify with with our chemistry and laugh so much with us so we we appreciate it it's a lot of movie and I read 20 pages at a time because I just needed to breathe for a second because it was just so much action so much energy jumping off these pages it's like when you're reading a good book you just got to put it down and just whew, i need a minute um so yeah it's this is uh this is going to be interesting to see how justin as a director was able to implement so much movie that's my Phil Jackson. That's my sensei. That's my Mr. Miyagi. That's uh, that's the Holy Grail. That's he is the he's the heartbeat of this franchise. No one knows these characters. No one knows the world better than Justin Lin. For anyone to make you believe that black people aren't friends with white people, white people aren't friends with Asians, Asians aren't friends with Latinos, Latinos aren't friends with Muslims or Arabs. I don't really know what world you live in, but it's not the world that we represent. Long before it was cool to be diverse in Hollywood, there was the Fast and the Furious. It's one thing to read it. It's another thing to see it, talk with it, look at it, experience it, 
that's when it becomes more real for me. And that's what happened after I met John. I was like, holy shit. Uh, he really can. He's gonna be able to make the world believe that he's actually a Toretto. Same complexion. Um, same kind of uh, aggressive energy um, and just seeing him and Vin on set for the first day of filming eye to eye you know was crazy and, and kind of made me want to step in and hey Break it off. Where is the buzz? Oh, yeah. You said we used to be a single. Oh, where is the buzz?